today I'm doing an assembly of IKEA sofa. Uh, the model is uh, Frikisen. You have a model number here. Uh, I want to show you from start to finish how it looks. This is what you get when the guys from IKEA get you uh, a sofa in your apartment on, or the house. You have a three part sofa and I will open them right now so we can start assembling. Okay, this is a, basically a starting point where you want to be. You want to take everything out from the boxes and remove the boxes from the room if your room is not that much big like mine, so you have space to work. Basically, the hardest part of this, actually it is not the hardest part, everything is quite hard if you're doing it alone, so if you can get a help get it uh, it will be a lot easier especially at this part where where you need to move all these big parts and assemble them tools needed for uh, further assembly are in this part which can go up which go up really smoothly you can see there there is a box with all needed tools and screws open the toolbox and everything put inside of it so you don't lose anything I will recommend you to do that. These big parts you can move out and this you also open and throw, throw everything inside of it. Trust me, this is from experience. For smoother and easier installation I recommend you to get a electric screwdriver or drill and of course all kind of bits. You get them in the box but uh, trust me it is a lot easier when you have something like this. The mandatory thing which you need to decide before starting to assemble Frikitten uh, is uh, its rotation. You have this part, the sofa is G-oriented, so you need to decide if this part is going on the left or the right side. In my case, when I'm looking from the front side, I want it to be on the left side. So, you need to put this on the inner side of uh, this part. So. Uh, as the left side is going uh, to the wall, it won't be visible, so you want to put it on the inner side when you're looking to the rest of the sofa. This is the best way to place it sideways because it will open automatically and it can hit you or hit something in your apartment. Trust me, it happened for me, so <laughs> this is friendly advice. And uh, this is quite a symbol to put. You have a double side adhesive. Yeah, it looks perfect, really tight. At this point, you want to close it and rotate it like this. You want to finish this up on the spots also here. Indeed look, looks looks perfect. You want to get this uh, shorter backrest and put it on the left side uh, at the point where this part of the sofa which opens needs to be. You want to where the holes are to look in the inside side of the sofa. So don't rotate it uh, to the wall, holes. Just move it to the wall, it will stay by itself. And then take a, a longer side, do the same thing. Move it to the wall. Now move in, slide in, uh, opening part of the sofa in the bottom like this. At this point take these two parts and place them on this spot. You can see the two holes here. 
yes and here so like this so just play place it like this and move it like this from the box get two of these and uh, you will need this wrench adapter which is provided and for further assembly you use provide the tool like this or just get a bit like this which I will I will use in my screwdriver for easy work they recommend to 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 use this in combination like that like a wrench but in, it all depends what you have in it from further on I will completely use my electric drill uh, in the box you have provided tools for further assembly open and now you have at the bottom you can actually first move it to, to find the hole and yes the hole is there center it when you have right tools, everything is a lot easier. So just actually, I made mistake. You need four, uh, four uh, total in four of these screws with four adapters. I already put one, so get three more with three of these. And uh, you will see now the places where they need to be put. To give you closer look, so you need four screws. One hole is here, two are in this corner, and fourth one is completely on the right side. You will probably need to move this back part back and uh, forward to, to align the holes so you start screw, screwing them in. After that, it is easy. For the next step, you need two of these and four smaller screws like this. With smaller bit, you cannot use the same one as before. So you don't use these longer screws, you get four of these shorter ones. In the part of sofa which opens from the inner side, there are two spots where you want to place these metal hinges. Uh, keep in mind that these uh, not round uh, holes need to be on the outside side and uh, these screws go like this. You want to screw them in and you are ready to go. After you are done you want to test it. Yep, everything close perfectly. At this point they ask you to move the sofa up. Uh, trust me, from the experience, first open this up and move it a bit from the wall, at least for the size so it can go up. This is, this is completely fine. Now, you want to, to take this top part. You will know uh, uh, the top part is because there is no mechanism on it, no metal parts. Uh, so. The, uh, you want the front side, this one, without uh, any holes or anything like that, to be on the top. So we go like this. Here it is important to look to these hinges go in the inner side like this. And you want for holes on the bottom to align with the holes on the back side of this. You take two of these and the side rest and put them on the bottom. Like this. Okay, that part is done. At this point you want to take uh, four those big screws with these adapters and place them on design spots. This is why it is important to align Holes, it is easier to work. For this to be good enough, you need to have filled. Don't be 
too soft on screwing the the screws because if you don't screw them uh, enough uh, there will be cracking noise noise in your sofa over time or immediately so just do it properly at this point you need uh, four of these longer screws which you have left Again, the same philosophy, uh, don't be too soft, you want your sofa to be sturdy, so just screw those screws. Alright, this, this, this looks really good and tight everything. And when we are at legs, I'm really sad because they are not high enough for a robot vacuum to go under them uh, they probably try to find some mod and uh, do a, a more uh, higher legs for so so I, so I can have my robot vacuum go under the sofa So you have uh, two on the top, three in the bottom side and two on the right. Get uh, only two of these which you have and get four of these flat headed screws. Don't get those with round uh, top, flat headed. You have two spots. The first one is on the under the opening part of the sofa on the middle leg. And the second one is completely on the opposite side, on the front leg. Always try to tighten the screws straight, so don't go left or, or right. Take easy until the more than half is in. The last part which needs some kind of assembling and take these four wheels and eight of these screws. They are only left so four spots, eight screws quite easy. Four, and we know that we are at the end when the box is empty so we have four screws and two of these and it is done you want these to mount on this spot here like this done we are ready to go at this point putting everything under the sofa because we are pulling, pulling it down. But I made it. Woohoo! This is the moment when you know that your hard work paid off. Now you want to pull this under the main part of the sofa. This is the easy part, uh, you remember this, you want them to go and click here. So these needs to go like this and get in on both sides. It shouldn't be that hard, especially because you can see them. Good. That's a good sound. It goes really smooth. And after that, you pull it out. Put the leg here because it's sliding on me. And you pull like this. 
and bam, it is ready to go. It is done. This is it guys, a job done. I'm more than satisfied with the final product. This is what I wanted. So let's try it out. Bam, here we have a 70 inch TV for enjoying a life a bit. Please, if you enjoyed watching this kind of video, consider subscribing, liking the video or leaving down the comment down below with any kind of uh, opinion. Thanks again and until next time. See ya.